WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavano for TFNN Mid-Afternoon Update. And, of course, this is Federal Reserve Day in an hour. The Prince of Finance will be up talking about what's going on in the world, Jerome Powell. So make sure you have your orders in and make sure you have your stops in because it's always a rock and roll type day. Now, one of the things that we want to be watching today, if you're watching the Federal Reserve, is they're really pushing Treasury bonds. Uh, they made an announcement, pre-announcement, that the auction that they're going to have was much better than expected. It made the long bond rally about a full point. But folks, got to remember now, the bonds are in big, big trouble longer term because rates will be going higher, even if this is an intermediate top up here at 5%. Whenever we get a correction, there's going to be too many bonds to sell because that's how they pay the bills for the U.S. government. And we know we have $33 trillion in debt. And that interest rates, the way they are now, it just gets worse and worse. So we should get a rally in bonds somewhere between. We've already rallied a couple of handles, about three handles from the bottom. But uh, what we have to do is we could get a rally much, much greater than that just because it's very, very oversold. So make sure that you have stops. I'll be talking about it uh, on my show that will come up here in another minute or so. Uh, tomorrow's guest will be Stan Harley. And then on Friday, I believe we're going to have Paula Webb will be our guest. And I had some really uh, great conversations with her. As a matter of fact, she reminded me of something that I did for the Mercantile Exchange way back in the 80s. I was 84, I believe, when the S&P started to rock and roll. I was giving a class to the floor traders there, and I had 13 things that they should use for trading the S&P. And uh, by golly, you know, I've got that right in front of me, and I'm going to share that with you uh, when we do our daily thing on the 15th. It's going to—it's rather long to do it, but if you follow these 13 things, you know, it's, they're good for anything. I just happen to be asking about the S&P, but they're good for any particular thing that you look at. You've heard them all. The question you haven't hit, heard them in order that I had them lined up. Not necessarily in importance, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it when you see it. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, some of the uh, uh, stocks that, that we're following before the Fed and also the mega stocks. We're going to watch to see what they're doing. So we'll be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. 